that a process has been put in place like what we saw in parliament if there's been consensus building and people have come to resolutions based on agreements and shared common views and finding common ground why do you turn your back on that and then start chest thumping what we are saying is polarizing rhetorics is what will take us to the place of mass action mass action is not the first um, solution for us and i'm sure even our opposition is listening we are saying let us have objective respectful dialogue let's create those spaces where people can feel that they have been heard and that they are being listened to we cannot live with mass action alone we need to respect human beings we need to show some love and this love does not come actually in mass action. Mass action should be actually the last resort. And if that happens, it should also happen actually like, you know, by people who are endowed with thinking, the people who are endowed with the knowledge. We call upon His Excellency the President and his deputy to provide leadership and resolve the doctor's strike. Kenyans are suffering. Kenyans are dying deaths which, they sh which should have been avoided. But because there is no commitment for the, from the leadership of this country, the pain continues. They should share with Kenyans the pain they are going through. It is unbearable. The political tension is really rising in this country. And it needs a leader to unite people, to bring people together. And you can only bring people together when you allow for dialogue, when you allow for a consensus, so that the country moves forward in peace. A country without peace cannot achieve its development growth. So we appeal again to His Excellency the President to take charge of the country. And I want to remind the country and the leadership that is there, when you look at the 2007, what brought that problem was when the, the presidency at that time decided to pick members of ECK unilaterally, just because he was in power. So, we cannot, the country cannot afford to go back to that situation by the authority that is there using the tyranny of numbers. Every Kenyan's voice is important and must be listened to.